Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tea with the Lady Anne M. In today's chat, I am going to update you on my Demillier purse and let you know how everything's been holding up. There's been a lot of um, excitement over the Demillier Vancouver purse and I don't have the Vancouver, but I do have one that I've had for just over a year now. So come on down and let's get started. So the Demillier handbag that I own is the Nano Montreal, and I have it in the puffy leather. I bought it pre-loved from Poshmark for just about $100, $125. Um, it is a very small bag, I will not lie. I do have a video on this channel showing what fits. Um, I have the iPhone 11, and I do have to insert it into the bag sideways. So. If you're looking at getting the, this handbag, just know if you have a larger iPhone, it will be difficult to fit. Um, I usually put a wallet, some tissue, and maybe keys in there, maybe a lip item as well. Um, so going to the wear and tear, I will say the leather has held up magnificently. It is a bag I use on the go when I just need just a couple of items. Um, I've been very impressed with the um, handle, the um, locking and clasp mechanism. Um, the only caveat I will say is I am not a fan of the, um, the how easy it is to scratch the hardware. Now granted mine came very very scratched, but even just running around with normal errands when it bumps or hits something, it is very it scratches very easily. So just be aware that um, if you are, you know, very anal about how your handbag is with scratches, um, that the hardware does mark up easily. Now that can be solved by getting like a protective sticker or protective item maybe over the hardware, but um, overall as a bag for the value for money, I think it's, it's a very well worth uh, and well-made handbag if you're looking into something that's, um, you know, entry-level luxury to start in your collection. As you can see, this is my Demelier bag. And looking up close, this is after more than a year of wear and tear. Now, again, these scratches were very prevalent when I originally purchased the bag. I bought this pre-loved. There is a little bit of a scratch here, but no pop stitches. Turning the bag to the side, you can see that the base has started to deform just a little bit, and that's because of how this bag is constructed. Um, it just because it does not have a base shaper. When it pulls, it puts pressure on the bottom. I keep it stuffed to help try and slow down the deformation process. Um, looking at the back of the bag, you can see there are, again, really no scratches. And if I take my nails and scratch the bag, you can see that the leather is pretty hard wearing. Here's a look at the other side. Looking at the base, there are no feet, but also no scratches. I'm going to go ahead and show you the handle, which is all in very good repair. This strap does attach here via two D-rings. Um, let me spin this around. Now I use this bag quite a bit. There is a little bit of uh, where right here with these stitches, you can see that they've started to pull a little bit on the bag, so I need to be more careful. But again, this bag is heavily used, so that's why there's more damage. Um, opening the lock, it just you know, press the bottom up to release it. You can see there are some scratches here from uh, the hardware here rubbing against the metal, the leather, that is to be expected. There's also a little bit of wear and tear around this lock area. Um, you can see where the 
mechanism slides in to secure it and release it that has scratched the leather looking on the inside you can see that it is suede there's a zipper pocket here it's still very stiff i do not use it it says demelier um the top of the bag here and a look over here um this shape does not fit my iphone 11 so if you do have a larger phone you will have to put it in here diagonally and that will contribute to the bag becoming misshapen over time so this part of the bag has softened quite a bit so when i close it i do need to try to make sure that i am not just pushing here and maybe have something to brace it so Again, this is what the bag looks like after more than a year of use. The strap is, there are signs that the leather is a little bit dry. It does need some type of treatment. So all in all, I'm pretty happy considering, again, I got this pre-loved. Um, I think it has been a very good purchase. If you are looking to uh, get a Demelier bag, I think their leather is really nice. Just keep in mind over time it will soften and it will like here become misshapen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe for more and I will see you guys next time. If you have any other requests just pop them down into the comments below.